Well, good morning. I have low battery from last time. <laughs> we are leaving the house. Randy boy is upset. So we will see you at the new house in like five seconds. All right, we are home. Are you guys ready to see the kitchen? Are you ready to show them the kitchen? Yes? No, no Benzy boy. He's so upset. He's, he's upset? He's asleep. He's so cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, well, what did you do yesterday? Yesterday, I finished the prep and sanded, cleaned, and primed the kitchen. The kitchen, which looks like... Not too bad. This right now. Wow. And I just came over to help Jonathan put these templates out. We got them in the mail yesterday. And the verdict is everything was right except they gave us an extra inch, right? On that one. But basically, if we cut off an inch on that piece over there, everything will work the way it's supposed to. So we're just going to do that instead of sending it back. Because cutting an inch off a straight edge is easier than doing this all over again. So... At least we have the counters. This is our, or at least the template. This is gonna be the overhang. This is where bar stools go. Yeah, that's what the kitchen is looking like. This is with one coat of primer and, oh, you can't even see anymore. My swatch of paint was there, but um, next is maybe another. This is the color we're going for. It's a grayish. And I wasn't sure, or I'm still not sure if I'm gonna go with black or brass colored handles yet, but. This is where we're at. And I'm excited. So we're gonna go to Menards to approve this counter. And I don't know if you guys saw over there are all of the doors. That Jonathan did. Um, so we will approve that and then go to Home Depot, buy the paint for these since this is just a primer. And I think Jonathan's painting today, right? Yeah. You're doing another coat of primer? I'm doing another coat of primer. And assuming the sunlight stays the same, mm -hmm. everything should be a lot faster. So he's going to sand this primer down a little, do another primer, sand that down too, right? No, no? that one stays. Sand. Primer, sand, primer, paint. And he did it all sand. of the gun. I, I don't know. But after that is um, flooring, which should start tomorrow yep. because today is Wednesday. So today paint tomorrow flooring somehow at least in the kitchen because appliances get here friday yeah so that's the game plan and i don't know if i should do another come back later and update later i'll leave the camera here for jonathan to do an update hello hello everybody <laughs> Anyways, so here's the quick update. Um, after I came in today, uh, there's a, a few drips that I had noticed yesterday and a few things that needed to get sanded down, like right here. Um, so I sanded that down. I still gotta go a little more on this one right here. Um, there's a big problem here when we got to this spot. There was a drip here on this section and I started sanding it and it peeled the paint. Uh, my guess was that the beadboard, so the beadboard was primed before and my guess is that it was just faulty there. 
something happened. But I ended up just sanding it down all the way. And it only peeled there. This, the rest of this section didn't peel at all. So I left it at that. Uh, there was a few sections of the caulk that uh, I didn't fully seal. Uh, just about in random places. I don't even know where they're at anymore. Uh, but I re caulked this section right here. So, this side panels uh, are actually glued on. They're individual panels, they don't come already glued. So, when I glued it, I didn't notice it until after I painted, but the veneer on the panel started peeling out or bubbled out. Uh, and that's just an indication that it wasn't glued down properly or it was just faulty in that section. So I ended up just cutting it out until there was no loose section and then I filled it with some wood filler, sanded it down, so that's already uh, done. There's a few knots and uh, gaps around the face frames of the cabinet, like here and there. This is already sanded down. I started sending down to paint, so I didn't want to go further down, but you can't feel that. Uh, this section right here had a splatter. I don't even know how that happened. Uh, but I couldn't send it down anymore. I don't know why. Uh, but it uh, doesn't feel too bad. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna leave it like that. Um, everything else is pretty good, I think. I sanded everything down. I used the vacuum just to minimize the dust, but there's still dust. So I'm gonna have to wipe it down completely. And there was one more thing. Oh yeah, so originally we decided that we wanted to paint the bottom of the top cabinets, of the wall cabinets, and I just went for it and I sprayed it. I didn't realize that I probably should have sanded down this bottom piece because it is pre-finished so it has like a gloss to it um i just completely missed that step didn't plan ahead for that one and so i sanded down some uh sections right here and it just kind of broke off easily but when i did that i also noticed that this was peeling so at this point what we're gonna do is i'm just gonna paint i'm gonna reprime and then when i'm gonna after we're done painting and everything we'll just go down there and just rip all that paint off and it should be pretty easy to clean clean up just because it's pre-finished. So we shouldn't need to like scrape or anything. And that is really, that's really it. I'm probably going to use the rest of the primer here on this section. I didn't want to prime it just because I wasn't sure if I was going to have enough. Uh, luckily I do so I'll just prime this whole, this whole section. I might even do the wall honestly. Next thing that I haven't done, uh, that's what's next in the agenda, is all these doors, uh, they were primed outside, so I brought them inside before I went home uh, to just kind of finish drying. Um, but we do notice there's a gap in between the face frame and the, the rails and styles of these doors. Gap right there. So I need to go down or with every single one of these doors and just go in there and fill with caulk all those gaps just so that when I paint them they are good. For the most part these doors look like they're ready to paint. I'm not going to be uh, repriming these. So these are going to go straight to straight to paint. Uh, I think one coat on this one on these is, is good. Um, yeah look decent that's it that's really the update walls are pretty bad still and the ceiling hasn't been painted uh, I didn't know that the walls were not white I guess this is off topic but you can tell here that they're like an off-white primers white alrighty see how it looks once I'm done here